can become the target of con artists. A local 12 troubleshooter, Howard Ain, says they were using an old scam to wrangle new victims, including one who carries a badge. If you think you'll never be the target of a con artist, think again. Here's a story showing how no one is out of reach of criminals looking to make an easy fortune. When the detectives looked at it, they immediately said they were bogus checks. So. Scott Israel asked the officers to inspect two checks he received in the mail. He knows a lot of people who work in law enforcement because he's the sheriff for Broward County, Florida. I knew right away that, you know, the, these companies didn't owe me money. And uh, I guess the, the, you're kind of offended, even as a sheriff, to find out that even these crooks, they feel that even I'm not impervious to their scams. So. The con men obviously chose the wrong target, and that's the point. All of us are vulnerable to such scams. There's no legitimate reason for somebody to send you a check or a money order in the mail and ask you to wire money back to them. There may be no reason, but this is one typical way con artists are luring victims into several schemes, including the so-called mystery shopper scam. And they ask you to take a check or money order that they've mailed you, deposit it into your own bank account, then purchase an item, complete the mystery shopper questionnaire about the experience, and wire back the remaining money from the original check. A few weeks later, you find out that the check that you deposited or the money order that you deposited into your account is counterfeit. So victims are on the hook for the entire amount lost, an important reminder for consumers. Never wire money to somebody you don't know, because once you wire the money, it's gone, and it's almost impossible to get back. If these individuals are going to send a check or, or try and uh, commit a scam and the victim is going to be the sheriff of Broward County, they'll do it to anybody. Postal inspectors say checks as well as counterfeit money orders are often sent through the mail, so be on the lookout for both. Howard Ain, Local 12 Troubleshooter.